amaranth. Oats. More oats. <laughs> this is a special drink. Our brewery's been making this uh, drink. I can't remember the name of it, but it's very rare. It's made from seven grains, five different kinds of rice, amaranth, oats, and uh, perhaps barley as well. So eight grains, uh, if I'm not mistaken altogether. But it's just uh, another example about how a sake brewery um, makes more than just sake in many occasions. Sometimes they distill shochu, sometimes it's amazake, sometimes it's nerizake. Uh, there's a variety of uh, ways for a brewery to stay in business and it's just another reason why um, we have to be careful when telling people that sake is uh, gluten-free. It, it can be, especially when it's Junmai or Hanjozo, but Futsushu, which can have a wheat-based sweetener called Mizuame added, um, is not gluten-free. And there's also sake with fruit additives things like uh, raspberry flavoring. Um, those aren't real raspberries, people. Uh, the sweetness comes from a wheat-based sweetener in many cases. So in the United States, it's my wild-ass guess that there's anywhere from 30 or more uh, different brands of sake that have uh, gluten in them. And uh, it's important that restaurant owners educate their customers um, in much the same way that they educate them about um, soy sauce or versus tamari. Uh, in much the same way we get educated about what's vegan versus what's non-vegan. Um, it's an important health issue for celiacs and it's just important for the sake of being authentic.